Welcome to Yoketashi Mario, brought to us by Lukareji. Uh, Lukareji, sorry, I'm saying that wrong. I'm not Japanese. But, this level, I like it a bit more. It's got a couple clever points. It has invisible blocks like here, but it's got a hidden trick or two up its sleeve, which is pretty cool. There's just an invisible coin block there. Or question, or, sorry. Speaking of invisible coin block, I guess I was wrong! There is... I'm just gonna shut up for a second. Ah! <laughs> Alright. I've played through this level as well as the other one. It's just one level, and it doesn't want to be nice tonight. What? That didn't even touch me. It's gonna be a jerk, isn't it? Yeah, you can't even tell I've beaten these, huh? I'm having a bad night. Very bad night. This one, in my opinion, is more fun than the one I just did. That was stupid! Keep, I thought that was a solid wall. Ugh, come on. Ugh, stupid bullet bills. Why won't you agree with me? There we go, that's better. This one's more clever, at least. Like, if I try to jump straight up now, gone. So, what happens if I try to go without it? I need the cape. So, we have to just fly to the end. It's supposed, I don't know if it's possible to fly to the top there, but it's guarded by spikes. And you have to be fast as well, that's the worst part. So you can, you can trick it out a bit by using the uh, flight crash. I like how I'm saying all these glitch names that barely anyone knows. Muhuhaha, <laughs> you made it this far, but can you survive the trial of death? I probably can. Thank you for asking. Let's go. And bam, something I haven't seen in a while. Throwback to the old Mario games. It's going to be really annoying to do without actually being able to hear the sound. Oh, I can hear the sound. Never mind. Okay, let's see. We've got the P-switch, a white P-switch, and death. Uh, I recommend not picking up the death. It's usually a bad idea. Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. It's the standard message. Alright. Uh, oops. Oh, come on. I thought I... Thank you. I need to get Yoshi up there. Because I can't get across otherwise. Whoa, where'd that other one come from? I, the worst part is you don't even need the extra one. You just need to get up. Once you get up, you're done with P-switches for a little while. However, there's random fish in the way. And since you need to jump with the dinosaur... And I save stated on top... What the hell? Oh, that block that had the other P-switch in it. There we go. Getting out of here. Come on, let's go, dinosaur. There's a couple of hidden things up over the top of the level. You don't really need to see them. I don't need the midpoint. I don't need anything down there for some reason, so I'll just completely ignore it. Let's get over here. And we're actually at the end of the level already. I don't know why there's nothing in that block. Now the ending. Let's go for the tape. Go for the gold. Go for the... You see a pit in the corner there? You don't think you do that, do you? You don't think you do that, do you? Yeah, he would. Yep. So, we have to rewind. Now, you saw a block scrolling on the side there, right? Guess what we have to do? Just like in the normal Super Mario Bros., we have to launch off and make Yoshi die. Dinosaur genocide's been at a high level since this game started. Alright, screw the power-ups. Giant bonsai bill. And you see the coins, so we're not falling for that. Let's just walk across. And that's the level. Now, that was a lot shorter than the other one. Or even the recording went shorter. But in my opinion, it was a lot more fun. The fish part, um, that's always kind of iffy. I've seen it in a couple ROM hacks, and they're, they're somewhat sporadic and random, so you can't really help that. It was also my own fault I destroyed the blocks that were there, so I can't say anything about that. But, I like that a lot better. Luke, uh, Reggie or Luke G, one of those has got to be right. Told me this is his first time doing a level, and honestly, I think he did a pretty decent job. 
The fir the coin blocks at the beginning here. I'll just go back in for a sec. Right here, there's there's a wall of two thick coin blocks, invisible coin blocks, right there. And you can't get on top of them because there, there's a wall. But the first time you hit it, it throws you right onto that bouncy block. So you figure it out really fast, and that's kind of cool. I like that. You basically made a, a method that's, you know, it's still cheap because it's coin blocks, invisible coin blocks, but it's still, you catch it and it's, I don't know how to put it. It's nice. I liked it. The rest of the level is pretty okay. There's a couple of hidden stuff in, that, in the top. There's actually a uh, three star mushroom or three moon mushroom. Three moon mushroom. Good job. You know what I mean. There's a three up hidden in the top level. There's alternate paths hidden up in the sky too, which is cool, but you're not going to do it, honestly. Most people are not even going to know about that unless they open up Lunar Magic and look at it themselves. That's why I know about them and looked at it afterwards. But, you know what, Luke Reggie, uh, I'm, unlike Wasp, or Wasp needs some more work on his stuff, but you you had a pretty good first level. I liked it. Keep going with it. I'd like to see more work from you. Alright guys, that's it for tonight, so take it easy.